Ooh, kids' toys. Probably one of the hardest thing for me to declutter as a mother. But we got this, right? We just gotta let go of what feels right in our heart. In today's episode, we are going to declutter another section of this hoarded basement. This is our summer project. Last week, we were able to clear out this space right here. This is where the steps are when you first come down into the basement. And we were able to open up this floor space really nicely. And also from last week, Hubby had to replace the hot water heater. This is the old one and it was leaking really bad. So he had to install a new one. And thank goodness he's so handy because the new one is in, it's working great. But we still have this old one. So he's going to be taking it to the scrap metal center very, very soon. But the rest of the space is now opened up again. So I think it's best to come back into this area. I want to open up this space when you first walk down into the basement. And I think my heart is tugging at this side because hubby has suggested that this should be the area where we should keep the storage bins. He can build the vertical tall shelves. That way it's near the steps. So it's easier for us to transport what we need up and down the stairs. So when you first see a big, tall pile of clutter and you start to feel overwhelmed on how on earth am I going to get started on this? Well, the thing that has worked for me the best is picking out what is the easiest thing I can let go of. I scan the area. What feels good in my heart that I can let go of? And it's, it's this box right here. I can let go of that. I've healed enough in my hoarding where I can recycle this box. I do not need to keep it. The other thing that I can do is this hanger. Now, children's stuff, even this plastic hanger, still may have a little attachment to it, but I can let this go. I have other baby stuff that I'm keeping. And also, this lid. I, I don't need to hold on to this lid anymore, right? I already have plastic storage bins, so we can let go of this. I don't need to keep it for sorting anymore. And now we got that decluttering momentum going and I'm feeling more confident in myself because we can let go of this, right? This is another easy choice. I sold the Swiffer at the yard sale. I wish I could have gave them this, but for now I'll put it on my town's free giving page. And these old Ziploc bags, I don't, I don't feel the need to hold on to them anymore. So we can let them go. And especially this old coffee K-cup for your Keurig. I mean, bye, we don't need that. This flashlight, I think we'll bring it upstairs because you should always have flashlights handy. But this right here, I don't even know where the other piece of it is. We can recycle it. We can very easily let this piece go. But underneath of that are baby socks. And I don't feel ready in my heart yet to let them go, but I do have a blue baby bin down here. So we'll go ahead and store them in there. And in this bag are some toys. And I know in this area, there's a lot of toys in here because when we were decluttering their rooms, we brought a lot of stuff down to see if they asked for it. But these books right here, they never asked for. So we can go ahead and let them go. Same with this miscellaneous stuff. We can let most of it go. Now I am going to show the boys what we're decluttering before it officially goes out of the house because it is their things and I wanna make sure they're comfortable with that decision. And underneath that, this bin is empty. Oh my gosh, what a relief. An empty bin that we can use for future organizing. Now this blue bin is just a mod podge of crap, isn't it? And a lot of recyclable tossy tossies I'm seeing in here. This is, this is great. I. We can let this go. We don't even have an iPhone 7 anymore. Like, we can totally recycle that. This I might keep, but the more that I look at this, I mean, come on, the gum, we can totally throw out most of this stuff. And in this next blue bin is more kids' toys that got churned from upstairs because we did not make decisions on them yet but I can quickly see that I have some crafting markers in here. So we'll go ahead and put them in my craft bins. Same with this Christmas paper. I have that accordion folder where I keep all my scrapbooking papers. 
this isn't the only bin of kids toys. This is two. So there's a lot of miscellaneous things, again, that got churned from upstairs. And oh, I gotta keep that, I, I love his comics. But I think what's best to do in this episode is I'm going to go through both boxes. We're going to go through what we're going to keep for them and what we're going to let go. And how I make these decisions is what feels right in my heart. I'm not using logic. I can't. This is an emotional driven disorder. So I'm letting go of everything that feels right in my heart and what I'm not ready to let go of, we're going to keep. Now this box in here, clearly a tossy tossy, right? We're going to let that go. The blue bin is going to be what we're keeping for now. This is what feels right in my heart so I can successfully keep decluttering this episode. And this stuff is going to, we're gonna let that go. We're adding this to our tossy tossy pile. And this pile of books right here is something that belongs to what I call mommy school. Every summer when the kids have office school, I always do workbooks and have them read and do these little projects so they're not losing any education during that break. But I'm realizing a lot of these books are too young for them. This is first and second grade. Tyler's in third. And this is kindergarten. So I think what I'm gonna do, the ones that are just too young for them, I'm going to post on my Towns Giving page. And in this bin, I found some clothes that are just too small for the boys. The boys outgrew these shirts. So I'm gonna go ahead and give these away too. And in this basket, I found some yarn and my old knitting needles. Looks like I started to make a rainbow scarf a few years ago, but I never had a chance to finish it. And for now, I'll put it in my crafting bin, but I sure would love to finish that rainbow scarf one day soon. And in the bag underneath of that, it's actually baseball pants that my boys outgrew. Now my dear friend Tracy, she runs our little league program in town. So I'm going to donate all these pants to her in case maybe someone else can use them. And underneath of that is baby stuff from my boys. And many of you know that this is this is one of the hardest things for me to get rid of because of my three miscarriages I had, right? So I grip onto this baby stuff to help me cope with the pain of that loss. That's how, that's how I, I cope with the, with the emotions. But now that I'm looking at this, there's, there's mold in this. Wait a minute. There's like mold and, and, and funky donkey stuff. And I'm actually feeling that the logic part is coming into play where I really need to let this go. I, I don't wanna hold on to mold. No, no, I, I need to let this go. Just like this right here, I, I don't need to hold on to this. I can, I can make this decision logically too. And I think it's because that I'm now building my sentimental foundation and I have a couple of solid baby bins in there. My favorite stuff is saved. So now I can finally make these logical decisions to let go of this expired stuff that I once used to have such an emotional grip on. This is so freeing to finally let go of this stuff logically and not emotionally. And in this tub is, oh, kids summer toys. But this is also from previous years, like this Frisbee right here. And then, well, this is a tossy tossy. We can totally let this go, but there's going to be a lot of arts and crafts and things in here. But some of it's a little youngish, like this. We can, we can let that go. Same with this, I only have one of these, so we can let that go too. And same with this. We can put it on our town's giving page because Dory is just too young for them. Now let's see what's in the last box and it is, oh, more kids things to go through. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do it exactly how we did it earlier. I'm going to divide everything into piles of what we're keeping and what we're letting go of and making the decisions emotionally. If I let go of something that I'm not ready to give away, I'm gonna have anxiety and I might regress and regret and hold on to more things. So that's why we have to let go of things emotionally. Now in this box, we are gonna keep it. It's mostly plushies, that's why it's so bulky. But we found Tyler's favorite Tyge 
and kitty pillow. So I set it aside for him. This right here, we'll save it for summer reading. This we're going to save for Christmas giving. And this will go in our school supply bin. And this is the pile that we're going to let go of. Of course, I'm going to show the boys to make sure that they're okay with it. But this is another large pile of kids' toys. Oh, you're so happy you found them, right? Yeah, he's so happy that he found them. He loved these animals so much. And now I finally get to show you the tossy tossy pile and it's another huge pile just like last week. And it's so awesome to be able to let go of things without feeling so much regret and attachment to it. We have really healed monumentally in our hoarding. Look, look at that big empty box over there, right? <laughs> now, the kids did agree to let these things go, and we're going to be giving away most of it. That way, it stays out of a landfill and it blesses another family. And look, there's even more stuff in the boxes that I didn't take out to lay out because like I didn't have enough room <laughs> and it was a rainy day and I couldn't like take it all outside. I had to fit it in this space, but there's even more things in these two boxes that we're letting go of. This is awesome, guys. We are really clearing out this basement. I'm feeling really confident and I'm just here to encourage you that you can have big tossy tossy piles just like this too. And now I get to show you the newly cleaned out section of our basement. Let me tell you, we kicked some butt this episode. I am so proud of how much stuff we let go of, how we're opening up these spaces. Look, I even labeled a bin, right? Because I have to remember, we got to label these bins now. <laughs> but overall, I'm happy, guys. And I'm here to tell you that you can indeed heal in your hoarding disorder. It's going to take time, right? It's going to take time. We done baby step decluttering and because we've been doing it for a few years now, we've strengthened our decluttering muscles so now that we can have bigger sessions to clear out. I promise you, it does get easier and you will be able to do this so you can enjoy your newly open spaces too.